Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. I thought I'd spend a few minutes just to run through a little bit more of Spanning Tree. The last video I did uh, garnered uh, some good positive results, so I thought, what the heck, let's do another one. So here we are. We've got our uh, Spanning Tree um, convergence exercise. We've got a switch and a switch. Both of them have Spanning Tree, and I'm connected to the switch down here called Lois. So what we're going to do right now is a couple of things. Let me just bring up a couple of command prompts. We got this guy here pinging away at my router just to show us if data is moving or not. And then we've got two command prompts uh, to log into each switch. Now a little trick or tip, if you didn't know this, uh, what I'm going to do is bring this into view. Uh, when I send a lot of commands to a switch and I don't want a lot of typos, I basically go to Notepad and I type out all my commands and I just highlight all the stuff. I do a copy and then I'll just simply do a paste and there we go. So that way I do less typos. Doesn't mean I'm not going to do any, but I'll be doing less, I hope. So in this case, you can see I've logged into Stewie. At the top, there's no spanning tree. And on the bottom, Lois, the one I'm connected to, has spanning tree. So she is obviously the root. So what we're going to do now is go to Stewie, enable spanning tree, and we're going to see what that does with our pings as well as capturing some stuff with Wireshark. So the next thing we're going to do with Wireshark is go to Capture Options, and we're going to put Capture Filter of STP, which stands for Spanning Tree, and we're going to hit Start. So uh, while he's capturing, we can see here's a Spanning Tree packet coming out, and coming out, coming out, and there they are. So now if we go to Spanning Tree Header, we can see things like the Hello Timer's 2 seconds, which is a default. The Message Age Counter is 0. This is kind of neat. Uh, I've run into a lot of people that weren't aware of what this was. This is a uh, hop count, if you will, of Spanning Tree devices you traverse to get to the root. In this case, I am on the root, and I know that because this is 0. If I was one hop away from the root, then this would be a 1. Up here you can see as well the root, MAC address, and the identifier is both the same MAC address, which again tells me it's the root. And the last thing that raises a bit of a flag is when I go places and I see 32,768 for my root identifier. And this is the default for many switches. So when I see this, I always hope that you've got some kind of design in place for spanning tree to avoid this problem that we're going to create right now. All right, so back to our switches. I'm going to come over here, Stewie. I'm going to enable spanning tree. And so spanning, spanning tree, VLAN 1, enter. And that's going to enable spanning tree. And we're going to pay attention to two things here. You can see our pings now are timing out. Time out, time out, time out. So we can see the pings now are timing out because now the other uh, Stewie and Lois are now exchanging topology information via spanning tree to figure out who is going to be in the new root, if, if anybody's going to be in the new root at all. And this exchange um, puts all the ports in something called a listening state, uh, and which means there's no data allowed, and then there's a learning state, and then there's a forwarding state. So while that's happening, you can see now it's recovered and come back, and we can see that our root packets now have changed to this TC. And if you don't know what that is, just click on one of them, and you'll see that it's a topology change. The roots have now changed. And as a matter of fact, if you take a look, the root here was 77 Charlie 0. And you can see here, it says 77 Charlie 0. So there's something going on with the root. Now, if we dig in a little deeper, you'll see now we have two MAC addresses, and my message age counter went from 0 to 1. See? So that's kind of important to note because at the very beginning we had zero and I told you that's because I was on the root. Now we're not on the root anymore. Stewie became the root. And if you want to verify that, all I have to do is say show spanning tree and you'll see this is now the root. If I go to Lois, see, she's not the root. So now we've basically changed topology, and that resulted in a bunch of pings disappearing from our network or failing. And you can see we root, 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 and then all of a sudden topology change, and then, whoops, and then all of a sudden everything goes back to normal again. So the moral of the story is if you do have spanning tree enabled, even if you just had one switch with spanning tree, it's in your best interest to make sure you configure it to avoid 
these types of outages. Now, what could cause an outage? In this case, this uh, gig link, if it was fiber, we could add a fiber issue, termination issue, dust. If it's a copper issue, we could have a, um, a copper uh, break or split pairs or noise uh, or half full duplex issues between these two ports. Uh, the last thing that uh, I find gets to be a little bit of a wild card is if a third switch appeared and its root priority was not 32,000, it was 5,000, for example, then it would cause the same convergence. So there you go. I've rambled enough. Hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.